Okay, this is a quick deal uh, about driving with vacuum. I don't know if you can see this or if the glare is killing it, but uh, basically the highest number possible uh, on your on your vacuum gauge uh, at an idle, you're at about a 20, 21 right around there. At least on my 2.4 engine, I don't know. If you got mods, I don't know if it'll make a difference or not. But uh, if you uh, when when you drive with a load, you're you know a second you accelerate, your your know, needle goes all the way over. So when you let off. You know, you're being vacuumed. That's vacuum in the yellow there. Um, my consistency ranges from about 15 to about 18. 18 is usually when I'm behind something or going slightly downhill. 15 is on a flat land, keeping a consistent speed. So uh, this gauge has greatly helped me improve my fuel efficiency and uh, the fact that you know I no longer use cruise control because the uh, the, the cruise control is constantly, you know, speeding up and slowing down to keep my speed. Uh, so that would give me erratic reading. So now I don't use my cruise control on the freeway. I'm, I'm metering it by pedal. If you see right now, I'm in the, the 20 range, doing 60 miles an hour behind a semi truck. Um, your, your vacuum goes higher in the number wise when you draft because you're having to use less fuel and less throttle. So. It helps a great difference, to, you know, just by adding a simple vacuum gauge to get a little more, you know, that way you have a little bit of instrumentation to be able to get a little more mileage out of your gas. It truly helps me. So, for the shot, just putting it out there. If you like it, fine. If you don't, yeah, whatever. Peace.